Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to MTD CNC. Today I'm back at IMTS 2022 and we got the dream team, Derek and Eric here, ready to tell you about Trinity's robotic automation systems. Feels good to be back at the shows, huh? It eh? does. We're live with real people and we've missed it. Yep, and we're shaking hands. Uh, how many yeah. IMTS uh, iterations have you done? Uh, my first IMTS was 2012. And every two years since then, except for that one little skip that we had. Okay, so you got four or so? Yeah. Sweet, fantastic. So we're here today in front of the AX2 automation cell. And this is one of a series of five, correct? Yes, we have the AX1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So what's changing between these? Is it payload? Is it number of pallets? It's a little bit of everything. So our AX1 is our smallest system. We have two configurations of that, different pallet sizes. AX2 is really what I would call our medium system. This is what we're looking at at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, AX3 is a similar size system, but it's a front loader. AX4 is a big guy. It takes a skip up in height. So that does about um, 21 inches diameter by 14 inches tall on top of the pallet. And then our AX5, which is a side loader, which does an 18 inch diameter, 12 inches on top of the pallet, is really our, our highest selling product so far. Okay, and uh, so what are we looking at in terms of like number of pallets? Um, anywhere from our lowest pallet count is 14 and our mm -hmm. highest pallet count is 40. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So for those customers with lots of redundant tooling and large tool magazines, you can get 40 pallets so they can be running lights out for quite a while. Oh, absolutely. They can run all the way through the weekend. It's it's done often, yes. And that's fantastic. So what, what brands, what tools, what machine tools are you able to integrate with? Uh, we've done um, the largest number are Haas. We went after Haas. It's a high volume manufacturer, so mm -hmm. we've done many of those. We've done many other ones. We've done Makino, Doosan, Brother, DMG Mori, Fanuc Robo Drill, probably a few more that I'm forgetting. Yeah, the name. So you can pretty much do them all, huh? We we like to say that we can do them all, at least the major models. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you when you're integrating with these machines, does it fully take over the machine tool? Is it only automation, or can you still maybe get a one-off job in between? No, you can, you can definitely run your machine in manual mode. So most of our systems are side loaders. That leaves the front of the machine available. The control is available for setup person to get in, take tools in and out, and set up a job, take measurements. All right, so for those people with like more of a medium batch that still get those you know, one-offs, two-offs, maybe a 10-off, they can still pause their automation and go and run those projects Absolutely. as they're hot. Absolutely, and we, we designed this system for a high mix of parts. Mm -hmm. So robotics automation has been around for a long time for high volume parts. Uh, we can do high mix of parts because the parts are on top of a pallet. So the robot is just moving pallets. It doesn't know what's on top of the pallet. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the benefit of that side loading and leaving that front door accessible. Absolutely. So when, when you're doing the side loading, what if, you know, say a customer has a machine where they didn't purchase a side loading option? Is there anything you're able to do about that? Um, yeah, so the largest market is machines that are already installed. So we do retrofit existing CNC machines. Okay, fantastic. So you have the team, the service, they can come out and install and do that retrofit for the customer? We do. So we have our own installation and service team, and we also have distribution partners who are trained, certified in uh, Trinity installs. So with these installs, you're also able to service, say when things, uh, you know, something goes wrong with the cell? Correct. Uh, so most of the time, if something goes wrong, we can remote access into the system. We can actually drive the system remotely. So we have an on-off switch, so we're not always on your network. But if you want us to be on your network, you can turn on a manual switch. Now we have access to the system and we can diagnose remotely. Um, typically, you don't have problems with robots. If you have a problem, it's going to be a sensor um, or an operator potentially doing something that we didn't anticipate. Maybe there was a low air pressure alarm and the system stopped and the operator doesn't know how to get out of that. And we can usually diagnose that and solve it remotely. Fantastic. So then speaking of potential issues, one one of the main cruxes with automation is chip control, yes. right? You can't be getting a chip sitting on that pallet throwing off your location. So how do you guys handle stuff like that? So we use a Shunk Automation Vero S receiver zero point system. So we have, we have blow offs between the receiver and the pallet. So we do a puff of air as the pallet comes in. We also have clamp confirmation. So if that pallet is not seated per perfectly, we blow air. That air will, will show us a, a seal failure if we're not clamped properly. And then we get a signal back from the CNC machine for that. 
All right, Derek, so when you're, when you're speaking with your customers and you're looking at retrofitting and putting in these side doors, uh, does your customer ever think, is my machine built for automation? You know, maybe they have a small tool carousel? Mm -hmm. So tools is always an issue. You, you can never have enough tools. But basically, you have as many tools as you have on a CNC machine, and we're able to automate that machine. We find that tool management is really important. So we try to build our CNC programs around a certain group of tools to minimize the amount of tool changes required. Okay, so this type of automation is not just for those horizontals with a 400 tool pallet or tool carousel. No, absolutely. So that's a different category. So, so in the past, that you had to have a million dollars to get an automated system. So really, our market is to come in on those uh, lower cost vert vertical milling machines and automate them. Well, fantastic, Derek. It's been great talking to you. Yeah, it's been great it. learning about your AX system. So a variety of payloads, a variety of pallets. Seems like uh, you have a lot of solutions for your customers. You got it. Fantastic, thank you. Thank